the real deal. Real deal, how can I punch these rental kids with plastic as hard as I can? <sighs> so you're telling me that the rental kids are clapping back, right? You built your AEG, you probably watched my videos, it's probably snappy as hell, but one trigger pull just isn't enough. And you guys say, real deal, how can I clap the rental kids? They're evolving, they're shooting back. I think they're watching your videos. Correct use of blind fire is a low risk, high yield tactic that delivers game changing potential. Well, you came to the right place. I'm Jake from The Real Deal Airsoft, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to turn a regular gas scattergun by Jag Arms into a clapping machine. The cheeks are gonna be clapping. I'm gonna show you exactly what you need to do, all right? You see this? Mmm, that's mmm. Get that out of here. First step, mmm. Let's get a tap adapter, all right? Now, already upgrade. Clapping, all right? Second upgrade is the real upgrade. And this upgrade, I'm gonna be utilizing one of these adapters from CQB Russian Airsoft. And this is gonna convert your green gas into an HPA tap shotgun. So now, you're gonna be clapping. Let's get to upgrading, guys. All right, boys, the first thing that we have to do is we have to remove the gas valve, the intake valve, I guess you can call it. They sell a special key meant for this. Um, I got it from eBike. It's a gas blowback valve key. It's very important. You just want to unscrew this. And then after we take out this valve, we're going to have to modify this hole a little bit to get the CQB Russian valve to fit. Once we remove this valve, there's one screw in the back of the pistol grip that's holding. Uh, the grip on the receiver. So we're gonna take it off, modify this hole to make it a little bit bigger. In order to get this to seat properly, we're gonna have to modify it um, so that this head piece can fit into the grip. So in order to modify this, we're gonna remove uh, the screw that's holding it in the back of here, take this off, modify it, and screw it on, and that'll be it. All right, so after you back out this screw, this is what will happen. This is what you call a real deal sawed off, concealed carry, you heard. We're gonna put this to the side. That's not what we're concerned with. Now what we're concerned with is modifying this portion. So I'm gonna do that right now. Whenever it comes to HPA, always put plumber's tape on the threads. You always wanna make your seals the real deal. So you have the real deal, real seal, you heard. So we're gonna do that right now. All right, so after you modify the grip, this is how big the hole should be. And we should be able to just uh, drop this right into there. And we're gonna tighten that down. All right, boys, test time. I don't hear any leaking. Let's see if she works. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I like that very much. All right, guys, so that's exactly how you HPA tap your scatter gun. I'm using um, a Redline uh, SFR regulator, super fast refresh rate. I use this for my Daytona. Let's see uh, how she is. Can you slam fire? You can slam fire. All right, so you couple that with uh, a tap airsoft or primary airsoft uh, mag adapter. Clapping cheeks, y'all. All right, guys, that's exactly how you HPA tap your Jag Arm Scattergun. Again, this is a real deal budget build. I think that the piece right here was only like about 15 bucks, so you can definitely HPA tap your shotgun. And if you guys are new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button and drop a comment down below on which airsoft gun you want to see upgraded next. Until next time, I'll see you on the field. The real deal.